my thing is, like, I'm other than Warwick Davis, I'm probably not gonna recognize anybody, even right. if it is we'll like the person. It was huh. so long ago. <laughs> I can't even tell you Val Kilmer's name. Really? Mad Mardigan. Mad Mardigan. I've you seen are it great. You once. Are great. Once. Know, but we've that said, doesn't say his name. He said his name. He so doesn't many go. Times. Mad Mardigan. You are <laughs> great. That's what he says. Uh, Hey guys, Cruel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And you can tell we're excited for the new Willow series on Disney+. Plus. Um, as you've heard, Aaron, you've seen Willow now. I have now. Over on our early access... It was there's great. A, yeah, it was great. <laughs> there's a movie reaction of Aaron watching Willow for the first time, us re-watching Willow, and we got really, really excited to jump into this new series, and that will be also be out on YouTube here in a couple weeks as well. So I'm just excited to see Ward Davis do, do stuff. Me too. I don't feel like he's in enough. Right? He's definitely not in enough. He's always just in Star Wars, like, in the background. I'm yeah. hyped for Warwick Davis, Willow Music... Everything else. I'm hoping like practical effects, more yep. people turning into animals. Mm -hmm. Do you want like, like little people that are like, like the CG'd walking on things that are like rolling around in carts? Yeah, and looking brownies. silly, but Sounds also great. like yeah, yeah. Brownies. Oh yeah, the fairies, <laughs> the fairy brownies. I stole a baby! Oh man, I love it so much. Stop motion dragon thing. <laughs> oh. We'll see. I know that uh, this is like showrun or whatever by, uh, written John Kasdan, who uh, is Lawrence Kasdan's son, who. It sits at him Star in Solo. Wars. I thought it was Ron Howard. Ron Howard is the director of the original movie. Yeah, the writer of this. You're supposed to go, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm not in the rest of development mood. <laughs> it wasn't, because you guys watched it that one trailer. Willow uh, yeah. thing, whatever, No, right? yeah, you're yeah. right. That's what I was thinking of. That was one of the best trailer tease things. Just having okay. Ron Howard do this. That's great. Uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, following this series, so make sure you subscribe. Every episode, we're going to be reacting. We're going to be discussing into yes. the, the lore of the characters and all that good stuff. So <laughs> no fan left behind with Blind Wave. Please hit the subscribe button. Follow Willow with us this season. And we'll be having our full-length reactions over on Patreon.com slash Blind Wave. And with the first episode of every season that we do, it's available for everyone, whether you're a patron or not. So you can always check that out down in the pinned comment and or description. Yeah, and it was a surprise for us this morning. We got two episodes. Yeah, yeah both of them. Both of them. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what they do with it and what, like, Yeah. I just watched the 80s one. Yeah. And now I'm jumping straight into, like, you guys are going to be, like, nostalgic yep. of what Super. you felt for years. This is why it's important to have you here. Mine's just, like, dup up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. That's true. It's going to be, like, jarring probably for me. Yeah. You're going to be like, whoa. Yeah, we're throwing the ball from half court and just you gotta go. <laughs> so yeah, um, two perspectives that I'm looking at this from, which is one, being a fan of the original, and two, is this gonna be a cool stepping on uh, point for new fans? I hope so. I hope so. Like if you haven't seen the movie? Yeah. I mean, this Maybe is, I shouldn't watch the movie. Like the Lord of the Rings show. Yeah. It's a new stepping on point, right? Yeah, sure, right? Like, like people be, who haven't enjoyed the Silmarillion before. And it's also like Lord of the Rings, like it comes with just like a ton of information that even people that are watching for the first time, like, I know this is a huge thing and I don't know any of it. There's a Bible for that show. Whereas Willow is like, it was a dark fantasy, funny movie, you know? Yeah. And I know not he had, much else like, George had more plans yeah. for more movies, yeah. but it didn't do well enough. It didn't do well, but it yeah. was like cult classic kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was a... Video game. NES is really good. Yeah, video here's, was great. Video here's quite game? good, actually. Yeah, there was a video game huh. for NES. I like video games. I like video games. Should Should play play Let's see if we like this. <gasps> Alright, we're just gonna watch the whole first movie. Unlikely heroes. Huh. I've seen this. A Nelwyn farmer who dreamt of being a sorcerer. Willow was a man of pure heart and unfailing courage. The other. An impossibly conceited thief, oh. liar, and rogue. Mad Martigan. Oh my gosh. Mad Martigan was the man I'd marry. I was going to say, this is Sorsha. <laughs> this is her aged voice. <laughs> but soon after returning home, Willow had a vision. <laughs> that one day, an ancient evil would rise again. Yep, love ancient angels. And so, Laura was hidden away. Her true identity concealed. We st what? Uh. Even from herself. Pretty fast. Hey, uh, don't mind a sword fight. <laughs> awesome place for a fight. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is like Princess Bride place to fight. I want more of the wide shots. Me too. Hey. Huh. I almost had you. Not Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. A Highness expects the royal party from Galadorn to arrive shortly. Galadorn. I serve Galadorn. Yes, the <laughs> prince, I believe, is hunting in the western wood. Hunting? I wonder who's hunting today. Man, I should go hunting more. Is that the tree that they hung the mirror from in Walking Dead? That's a different show. Maybe. <laughs> Some of them might be true, but that was before. That was before. I'm not that guy anymore. Eric, I love you. Eric. Eric. Huh. Did we have an Eric before? Eric. Yeah, we did. But you can't just say his name again. I'm trying to remember who he was. He was like a guard dude, right? He was the guy that was like, you betrayed us, Val yeah. Kilmer. <laughs> I'm afraid your mother insists you're presentable when they arrive. And what do we suppose she means by presentable? Well, I suppose not covered in dirt and grass. Oh, wow. Well, like she's sure. so particular. Looks comfy. Oh, breezy. It would be really nice on a hot day. Yeah, well, not, the wind yeah. would go right through it. Not during the winter. Not during the winter right now. Tiras Lean. Isn't that the whole place? No. Tiras Lean is a. The Everything greatest, will be alright once we get to Tiras Lean. Nice dress. I want to see your arm. That's why I was wondering how much time's passed. Like I'm like, weirdo? is it someone else? Like, I like arms. she's not old enough, right? Yeah. Where is she? My lady. Ah, I love this guy. guy. He's the best voice. For Kit and Owen. This is Valentine. Yes. <laughs> That's Flash, right? Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow, Prince Graydon marries my daughter, Kit. At last, unifying Terrasleen and Galadun. Ensuring us a harmonious future and strengthening us against any threat. Well, that seems like a big deal. <coughs> it's a huge deal. To the bride and groom, may they rule wisely and justly and defend our realm till that day when the true Empress, Elora Danon, returns. Till that day! Till that day! Till that day! So, 200 moons since the first movie? Yeah. When they broke the curse? How long is 200 moons? Uh, are they referring to like the new moon? I would say right? months. Is that every month? month How long right? is 200 months? Um, I refuse you to math. Everybody loves you because you're so charming and fun. As long as they don't expect anything from you. Because the moment that they do, you'll just leave. Just like Dad did. Oh, he left? I'm not him. I thought he died. Kid, I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> The Mad Morgan, is that like a title or it's his, his name? name? It's his name. So he, so he's not just like ah, he's mad like crazy. It's no. just he's no. mad. Yeah. And it's Mad-Morgan. one word. Yeah, no, I don't agree. Mad Morgan. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I seeing I, you with those. Just that was breaking up with him. Crazy, made me mad, and I was so distracted. I burnt the turkey. No. I, She's supposed to watch the ovens. I burned my muffins. Oh, the muffins. No. Yes. <laughs> you responded to me. You didn't know. I love this kid. <laughs> huh? What if I did? What if I was ready to commit? Uh-huh. I know it's not the greatest marriage proposal uh-huh. of all time. In fact, uh-huh. it might be the worst. But what if it was... Might be the worst. What if it was better? I don't know if your mom's going to be happy with this one. So definitely mm-hmm. something I that we can discuss. I <laughs> I know. Oh, she's running. You don't know that's her. That's her. No, She's that could running be, away. That could be Green Arrow. Man, I was worried that she it was wearing she'd see her in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, no! <laughs> ah, you fucking idiot! I would have. She's gonna cut her friend's hamstrings so she can't be a knight. Oh, okay. no. I guess she wasn't running. But. I'm leaving. Oh, she, she is. But I can't say goodbye. She came here first. Yeah, you. I'm leaving you She first. came here I'll first. I'll do a little one. <laughs> she is running. It's not here. On 
I'm down, Aaron Yeager. I need to see this world. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's Damn, this? Beautiful. The gales? Whoa. Uh, I was gonna say, that is a big bird. Whoa, cool. I've seen big birds. Hey, Rick, Source people are turning into animals. Is that you that said that? <laughs> Holy shit. It's the soothsayer from Vikings. <laughs> okay, fine. Just do what you want. You know, there's nothing brave about running away in the middle. Uh. Is that fog? This is weird. It's dense fog. What's this... going on? The city has. Oh, oh God! Oh, oh God! God. <laughs> oh, yeah! Death dogs. Oh, yeah. Death dogs. Oh, now she's gonna fight. Her sword! Yep. <laughs> so great. This guy. Oh, can he fly? Or is that. Jump. Whoa, look at his hand over there. Jesus! Awesome! <laughs> this looks like the final bad guy in Killing Floor. <laughs> Please be careful. I'm always. <laughs> Dude, he feels so mad again. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Death dogs, we got sorcerers, we got big giant dudes. Birds! Birds! Ah! Oh. Yes! Ah! Oh. The Valentine! Inside your highness! Yeah, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, he's got whips. Bone whips. whips. And no eyeballs. The designs are spooky. Yeah, they are. They're also unique. Scary. Ah. Uh, who is this? This has got to be. We're under siege. Press my cleaver. I'm so intrigued. Press my cleaver. Is this like the, the death row guy? It's like really good at his job. <laughs> I mean, Matt Morgan was found in a cage. <laughs> Whoa! Oh fuck! I love it. I love the little LED bulb on the end. Come on! Whoa! Thanks, mom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so easily entertained. <laughs> Did you run away? Oh yeah, you heard the music. Where's the great wizard Willow? He's probably in the forest. Ugh. Whoa. That's cool. She's not as... Ah, uh, it's like the trolls kind of a little bit. Stab it! Yeah. Put on clothes! No! It's in the back. Oh, that was great. Is it like back then to dodge it? That, these things are so creepy. That is very troll-like. She's only got two whips. <laughs> what? Go get her! Okay. I guess it just wrapped it. I love this. Oh! Uh, oh don't burn him! Did that do something? Oh man, Jade's fighting that thing? Oh! Jesus! Oh! The cleaver. Oh man, I'm sorry. I thought you were totally gonna let go of her. <laughs> Who's this guy? Save him! Are they being like summoned back? So he's not the leader, there's someone else. Help! Got somebody help her! Oh no. Did we kill the queen? It was just behind me. Is Fighting that, that witch. What they did? They came to take a prince? Maybe. They took him, yeah. yeah that's a sword, isn't did it? Did they take both children? Caught up with him on the edge of town, trying to steal a horse. False? Pay on me, false. I was actually checking on the conditions of the stables as I was concerned for the welfare of the animals. Is that, is that a crime to care? Huh? To feel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to feel? Yeah. Right. This guy's great. Mother, I, I said I think I should go west. 
to search for Eric. I heard you. And I agree. Oh. Okay. I say she agreed. I'll go. I've known Eric since the day he was born. And he's as close to a son as I'll ever have. At least that I'm aware of. Thank you. <laughs> At least that I'm aware of. <laughs> you never know. In a long life. It's still the closest thing to a son he'll ever have, right? In that case, so is Graydon. You know, you know I think we're good. <laughs> wise. You've let your fellowship, fellowship wise. Be on the barrier without you. It's not ideal, but I'd learn to live with it. <laughs> not ideal. It. Where would we even look? You can't track something that flies. Which is why you're going to need a sorcerer. A sorcerer. Go in the direction the bird is flying. <laughs> So Flash has something to offer. We have enemies with us. Obi's not the bad guy. He'll be the wizard. Watch the sources. I had this made as a gift for when you left for Galadorn. Oh, did she get the new weapon too? <laughs> Does he even have a weapon or anything? <sighs> it's affecting him. Uh, infecting him. Well, before you're gonna have like, a guy to be taken over, you want that voice. Yeah. <laughs> who is that guy? Because he looks familiar. He's from uh, Game he's, of Thrones. He yeah. was the guy who was on the docks, like, trying to teach um, Beyond. Beyond Greyjoy. It was a good speech. <laughs> he's in. Uh, yeah, he's a lot of things. But. Do they film this, like, in New Zealand or something? This looks uh, really yeah, nice. I believe so. Looks great. Amazing. But it also kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Hey, don't worry. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff I've done that you haven't. I think someone's following us. You know, that's what I thought. Dove. And I realized you guys are pretty daft to follow us, considering we're all gonna die. Wait, you think we're gonna die? Wish someone told me I'm really scared of dying. <laughs> Not in communal bathing. Communal bathing? I don't blame that too. <laughs> that's. Bathing's me, Tyler. Hey, put me down! Whoa, she got a new outfit. Uh -uh. Yeah. And there is nothing we wouldn't do for each other. Have you ever been in a fight? You mean like verbally? She can cook for you. She can burn the muffins. I can do other stuff, whatever you need. <coughs> the horses, and somebody's got to cook, right? Yes. Yes, Rick. Yes, hey. yes. you're the willow. <laughs> what? You've never known pain, fear, hunger. When we get out there, it's not going to matter who your parents are. Or what you think you deserve. Because the world is bigger than you could possibly imagine. I like this guy. It doesn't give a damn about any of you. Possum stew? Possum stew. Oh, it's gonna be greasy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she like whispers it. It's great. Depressing, but it's not why they built the barrier. He's right. It wasn't built to protect the realm. It was built for Elora Dannon. The only way to bait Elora Dannon out. Truth is, no one actually knows. My mother knows. Pretty sure my father knew too. I think he snuck her out of the castle one night and took her somewhere far away where nobody would find her and then stayed with her. Is that what you really think, or? Mm -hmm. What you want to believe? Why would I want to believe that he chose her instead of us? He chose like a mission, like he had a purpose, you know, rather than just leave. Willow would have wanted him to take care of her. He swore he would. Yeah. What if he left and he died? Give you my word of honor. She's gone. It's like a warrior, Jesus. When I woke up, yeah, one night of sleeping on the hard ground will cure anyone of their romantic. She went to go get something for breakfast. That's what she did. She did. Hmm. Thank goodness for this tree. I don't know if breakfast is worth it. Maybe that's not what she. Oh no! Nope. Oh, nope. oh hell no! A hundred more. I've seen Naruto. <laughs> Guys, look at this. You stand at the threshold. See? 
He's the translator. His glory. What? Why are you doing this? They won't let her come. As right? he stirs from Can't his deathless right? slumber deep below the surface, the harbinger of the worm will come. Maybe stop reading it. Yeah, it's like, why do you keep reading it? <laughs> Did she make it off? She must have made it off, right? Yeah, I think so. She's yep. hanging. She's dead. Sorry, Hop. She's not dang <gasps> <the> middle. <gasps> Man, the horse is on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> Out of the river. Yeah, right. Horses. Looks like he's got all the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just walk through the barrier? Maybe she's got the magic in her. Well, I'm between either her or Jade as the. I was thinking the prince. No, for Alora. No, for <laughs> magic. I'm between her and Jade as Alora. Yeah. We haven't gotten her name yet, right? Dove. Dove. <laughs> yeah, I don't think people normally are able to do that. If they could, it's a really shitty barrier. I don't care if you like each other. We're all in this together now. And out here, in the world beyond. If you're not vigilant at each moment, oh no. I swear you will not survive. Oh, ah! yep. Yep. Ooh, there's the right. I was waiting for that as he was saying, like, if you're yeah. not vigilant, bone reavers. Ah, General Kale. Right. Yeah. Dude, pick up Dub. There's a horse. There's a free horse now. Thank you. What? I would take his sword. And take, his horse. Take his horse. Why? That's the second horse you've abandoned. The horse is mourning. Give it a second. Now you're gonna be slow. The horse is mourning. Oh, bone reavers. They had a great shot too. <laughs> Orbit, you're supposed to be dead! Orbit. Orbit. I think you're thinking of someone else. Oh, did he used to be a bone reaver? Well... Oh. He's done crimes. Sugala? Sugala! 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 It's like a magic bridge! Did you jump Okay! <laughs> I'm not doing that! I don't understand what happened. They, they just, just jumped off. They yeah. jumped off. So it was deep enough for them to live. I think this was shallow, shallow enough, enough for them, them to, to walk, walk in. Shattered yes. Yeah. I know, Aaron. This is the kind of shit I have problems with. <laughs> <laughs> Makes perfect sense. People tell me to shut up. It's fancy. It's an ancient Angorian what? They're just in Shut up! <laughs> okay. We're getting close. So he just got lucky. <laughs> Are you sure this is the same village my mother was talking about? It's the only village in the valley. Why did everybody go? Oh, Dakinis. Terrific. Just what I need. The warrior! What happened to you? Plenty. Yes! It is. It's okay. She is who she claims to be. <laughs> I read her mind. Fuck yes. Oh, I'm kidding. He's so handsome. Looks like a wizard. Beyond the edge of our world. Into the unknown. It's the only way to... To... Hmm? Hey, Laura. He's looking... Oh, yeah. at Dove. <laughs> oh, yes! It's been hidden. Hello, yeah. hell. I'm nobody. You are Elora Dannon, last blood of Chimeria, future empress, high priestess, sent from sorceress of the Nine Realms, sorceress. and the world's last, best hope against the evil coming to destroy us all. I thought it might be a longer mystery or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. What? Episode one. What? <laughs> oh, my God, that's where it ends. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That was fun. All right, so we're going to have a short discussion before we jump into the next one, but it can't be that short because this is the first episode. And uh, I want to know what you guys thought. I like it better than the movie, I think. I would hope so.
Oh. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Well, I mean, the movie's old. It I don't have the nostalgia or anything, you know? but I feel like, like so far this first yeah. episode, I'm like, ah. Oh, I, I mean, I, when I when we watched it in the reaction, like I, I uh, for the movie, like I fully was like, this part's not great, but I'm remembering little kid Eric that didn't care about not part great parts, and I'm kind of jealous of that kid <laughs> that can watch stuff like that. So I, I still have a lot of nostalgia, of course, yes, but uh, yeah, this is like developing the world. A lot more building the world a lot more sure I mean the movie built the world and then now this yeah. just steps off yeah. of that right yeah. yeah you had an evil queen she had an army then you had this kingdom then you had this other kingdom that's all stoned up or whatever and we still have all that here it's just what so 20 uh, like 16 years later I guess yeah yeah that's what I was and curious about. on because I was yeah. like how old will Alora be because yeah. like we were talking about like when it came out and we said it was what was it 88 88 88 yeah right so like all right. Well, it's been a while in real life, but yeah. in the movie, how or in yeah. the show, how it's been long? Longer than sixteen years. What's the time frame going to be? Because yeah. I was like looking at her kids, and I'm like, is one of the kids actually, you yeah. know, the Alora. Alora? But then like she also said about my twin brother. I'm like, all right. Well, then it must not be the princess, because I feel like that's a tricky thing to be like, ah, oh, they're twins. Like, but how would you have had a son? And then Alora was all that didn't work. That didn't work. Yeah, Alora was work. already a baby. Yeah. 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 Unless <laughs> Willow makes a like mirror image. Mirror image. Yeah. And it, and it splits them into two. Order they're to both Alora. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, all right. So it's either you have to kill them both at the same time. <laughs> it's either like Alora's, like, I don't know, love interest, friend, uh, fighting partner, like what? What? However, their relationship works because she's also supposed to be marrying this other dude, and maybe they won't. Maybe they will. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, like, I was like, is it Jade or is it Dove? I was suspicious so. with Dove when we didn't get her name. Yeah, I've never even showed the name in the subtitles. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this There's, character. Subtitles just kept calling her Dove. Oh, I never saw like Dove. Like uh, whenever Dor, not Dorman, Borman took her off the horse. Yeah. It's like, yeah. let me go. Ah, it said Dove there. Okay. So they just called her Dove. I just missed that. But I don't know what name she was going by. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Sure. I really like the design of the four uh, the gales. gales. Yeah. Like, I thought they were really cool. Yeah. They it's all scary. felt scary unique with their powers and stuff and how they fought like I just like see I uh, very different like choreography and all their fighting yeah like, we had like whips very different you got yeah. a big old brute guy with like a, a club hand yep you have Tell I even like staff. there's the bird but then like whenever she was like a person or whatever she was like very like Valdo. flexible yeah like very much like weird, the trolls from the original movie dodging <laughs> 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 the way they would move, but yes. yeah. <laughs> the trolls. Which ones were the trolls? Uh, the, we briefly saw the, the trolls. Harry's black suit. Oh, and then they got turned into the castle. Then they got turned into whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know if that thing's a worm. They mentioned a worm in this, but I think it's different worm than with that. A y. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, what's his name? Borman. I love Borman. Borman's pretty great. I like the whole crew. I, I I really do. I think that the cast has really cool chemistry. I can you can definitely see like when they were building that fellas. Like, okay, here's Fellas-y. everybody's. <laughs> I know. Like here's everybody's part, and then I'm like, and you got an older guy that can pass away and unify the team <laughs> later. But <laughs> rather than getting unified, they jumped off that short cliff. <laughs> yeah. We did not really see them mourn him much. No. No, we did not. <laughs> I think he was closer with Eric, too. Yeah, Maybe sure. than them. So mm-hmm. it's more just like, ah, like Borman's not going to care. Right? No, he's not no. going to care. Mm-hmm. But I figure the rest of them might a little. Sure. But in the heat of the moment of like, I either run or I die. Yeah. Well, in the but heat of the moment, I definitely get. But like afterwards, when they're at Willow, I assume they mourned on the way and we just didn't see it. Sure. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It's it's a big place. It took Willow and, and then, you know, weeks Days, however long we to saw get across all of the country, it we, we did. saw that whole journey. So I'm assuming that they just cut out some uneventful hours in there. Sure, like we traveled a lot, and the traveling parts looked really, really pretty. Yeah, Great. yeah. I, I quite like the production. I mean, it's not you know Lord of the Rings coming out on Amazon, but I think that it's doing things smart. I I, I like just the small things they're doing to invoke like Sorsha's costume from the movie. You can see that in kits. Like outfit silhouette, like the arrows popping out, the shoulder strap and yeah. stuff. Like they're, they're putting a lot of effort into like you squint, you can kind of see some of like four arrows. I, I was yeah. gonna say I'd really like to see more arrows <laughs> in quivers. Yeah. It's like sure, 
Cause what are you even doing? Arrows that's four. Take, that's four men. Take a long. <laughs> no, the, those are not war time. arrows anyway. Those are hunting arrows. They're not thick enough. All right. Also, you stand there. I'm gonna shoot one at your chest. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, let's see what happens when you get shot with a yeah. hunting arrow. Ah, these, hunting are, these are synthetic fletchings, so you can tell because they're starting to peel here at the back. <laughs> they are magic fletchings. <laughs> Yeah, man. Not everything is magical in it, this place it, that is shrouded slim <laughs> and forbade magic. Yeah, the too. horses aren't magical jumping off cliffs. The, the arrows aren't magical. Well, they just land in soft stuff. You know what I want when I'm soft watching a fantasy stuff. show? A guy to tell me that's just not real. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. There's like he wasn't like doing a thing. He wasn't confident that they would make it or anything. Yeah. He was telling his horse to stop. And it didn't because it probably doesn't know what language he was using. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. So it just went off, and they all followed too. Like he must be doing something. Yeah. He knows what he's you don't doing. Have to tell a horse to stop at a cliff. Like normally they just do that. But sure. But it's like a, he's Some like horses are dumb. Everyone just went with it because they're like, well, he's the guide and he's yelling something. That's I guess is what we're doing. Go. I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> That's yeah. So funny. But they left so many horses behind. <sighs> Whenever they grab Dove, I'm like, put Dove on that other horse. Yeah. yeah. That way she's not slowing down the one horse, but they didn't. They did not. Didn't seem to cause any troubles with, like, the horse tiring out or traveling or anything like that, so. But I was also more well, bored with uh, Laura being Dove whenever she was, like, sneakily coming. Because I was like, the queen probably wouldn't send Laura out past the barrier. If, if she that's knew. Yeah. something that we want to hold on to yeah. or special or whatever. Yeah, so. like they they said they hid Laura and then even from herself even from herself yeah, yeah. so they take her name I, I, the queen would have to know that Dove is a Laura yeah right? she so, might or is there like a magic thing where like we removed that memory from her like she might be the only one okay and she probably like I don't know like changed the name to whatever yeah. and then like gave it to someone to raise yeah. kind of thing yeah. or so like King Arthur the, yeah the, the cover story is that Mad Mardigan takes a Laura and leaves and never comes back but sure. really, they didn't take her anywhere. They just hit her there. I wonder yeah. where he did go. So where did he go? Yeah. Like, was that only as a red herring? A cover, yeah. I mean, who would be looking if, like, well, yeah, the king consort's not here, <laughs> you know? He's with Alora. I wonder why. And he, he never came back. Yeah. I mean, the, the twins, like, had the impression that he just didn't want to be a dad. So yeah. he just ran away. I, mean, I know why he left. Because of Val Kilmer. Sure. Yeah. But, like, in this show, yeah. Well, but yeah, you could have had him be dead if it, you know, just for the Val Kilmer's sake. Like, mm-hmm. sure. I mean, the Queen's older. They could have had something to happen. He could have died, you know? So you could have just been like, oh, yeah, miss, his, miss him since he passed. And you don't have to really talk or explain too much. You're just yeah. like, oh, he's dead. But they t- said he went away. So, like, why do you do that? Or do you, do you use him some other way? Or do you try I'm to sure you know, leave we'll it open for something, I assume, it, right? Yeah. But what? I don't know. And what happened to the Nelwins? I, I think the twins really match pretty well for Mad Maddie. Like, I feel like Eric, like, oh, sure, I love him yeah. grabbing the sword, oh, yeah. like, spinning it and stuff. And I was like, yeah, he kind of has a good Val Kilmer, Mad Madigan kind of feel to him. I like he's it. He's overly confident, that, but he's got to be able to back it up. That's the thing about Mad Mardigan. He backs it up, too. You know, we haven't gotten to see it. But I do kind of like the idea. It's like, oh, the prince, he's the one that was taken. <laughs> Although, Eric said, like, yeah, I'm really good with a sword. I'm not the best. Second. <laughs> so does that still mean that Mad Mardigan is it's the greatest swordsman that ever lived? Kit might be the first. Best, yeah, I think maybe, but I don't know for well, sure. I mean, what about Valentine? Valentine? Yeah, I mean, how do you say it? Maybe. Yeah, he's he's not, in, like not anymore. He got injured, and he looks like he's infected by something. Yeah, it's sure. Crawling through his veins. But Kit wasn't fighting a teleporting dude. It's true. <laughs> you know, like that's got to be tough. Like, sure, whips are probably not easy to fight either. <laughs> Yeah. But a teleporting guy's probably tough too. The rock took the whip dudes with his bare hands. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but they weren't made of like weird metal things. You know? <laughs> he cut a table in half. <laughs> Wait, I mean, yeah, over the it We uh <laughs> you know, expanding this fantasy setting, we now have an we have an ancient evil that comes from below. Yeah. Specifically he. Don't know who he is. The great worms yeah. uh herald, mm-hmm. right? I'm assuming the Great Worm is going to be like a, know. like a Ragnarok, maybe world yeah. eater. Kind Did they say of thing, the Great right? Worm? Didn't they just say like uh, the Harbinger of the Worm? Harbinger of the Worm is who this the glory that they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. They really called him the Eternal. The eternal one. one, Healer of Worlds, Harbinger of the Worm. Yeah. Like I don't think he is a worm. No, he's the no. Harbinger of the Worm. Yeah. 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 
Okay. Just whenever someone said about Great Worm or something like that, I was like, oh, yeah. I was trying to figure out what he was. Mm-hmm. And what no, I just oh, like, yeah. you know, they're developing this uh, this world a bit more, especially too, because before we just had Balmorva, and she's... Uh, Bavmorda. Know, Bavmorda, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, you know, she's the sorceress that, you know, takes down her rival and takes over the kingdom, and then she melts. Well, she was doing a ritual to summon something yeah. at the end there, right? Maybe that was... I thought she maybe. was gaining more... I don't know what she was doing. But yeah. I thought it was more power. I assume it was more power from something more powerful than herself kind of deal. Like the Shadow Realm. Yeah. She's the Anaheim to, how do you say it, from A Link to the Past, to this evil's Ganon. Mm. The like, city in California? No. Oh. All right. Well, that's a good setup. I said we jump into the next one. Hmm. Jump. Look at the what? goatee! Yes! That's great. You got a flashback on? Uh-huh. I guess. There's no one left who could even... I'll train her. I'm High Aldwin now. I've become what Rosella was said of. He's got jean jackets. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's got all the dangly bits that the, the old guy had. But you're not a great sorcerer. And you never will be. Screw you too. I mean, he's nothing compared to the power of her mother. I would say. That was his first week of using magic. <laughs> <laughs> I said you're a Laura Dead. All right, we don't need to get carried away. We don't really know anything for sure. It's not safe here. Follow me. <laughs> Just best signs. Oh, underground, yes. Eric. Yes. This look is at, smart. Look I at know. the mushrooms. Yes. Bioluminescence. Duh. Duh. Mims. It is a Lord Diamond. Well, why'd you tell her? Oh, a Lord Diamond. This is my daughter, Mims. Where's Rannon? Is Rannon here? Rannon. The High Old Wind will now address the village. <laughs> Ready? I don't know what you're gonna do, but I will sure. consult the bones. <gasps> the bones. Yes. Yeah, <sighs> <laughs> I love like. Oh yeah. The last guy did this and he's like, yeah, they don't tell me nothing. <laughs> the bones tell me nothing. Do the finger test. She ought to be able to pass that. Finger test. Finger test. Finger test. Finger, finger test. Finger which, po- which finger holds the power of the universe? Yo, uh, <laughs> he's such a magician. <laughs> He's pulling his hand away. It's all right. Doesn't mean anything anyway. I got it wrong the first no, time, really remember? Is. And look at me now. Well, I'm, you know, well, no I'm me. Don't suffer this. Uh, I don't have a... F- <sighs> I, have, I have less hope. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. The water collection. What haven't you told me, doll? Beard. Uh, his future vision thing that he had. No! Not by hiding from what you know is coming, but by rising to meet it. And when he's ready. The wand? Andrea's wand. Hmm. Damn twisted stick. It's so iconic. I know! <laughs> <laughs> Idiots! Think of oops! Where is she? Laura? We thought she was with you. This right here is why no one's allowed above ground, ever. Relax, she's probably just <laughs> frolicking in a meadow somewhere nearby. Oh yeah, I forgot you're hilarious. And their only hope of escaping that nightmare is now wandering around in the woods. Stay in pairs, let's spread out. She just took off into the woods? Laura, Laura, Laura. You use your fake name while you're shouting in the woods. Dove. Yeah. 
No. In a part, I miss you already. We found something in the river. Dada, it's a baby. Can we keep it, Dada? Well, what good? The safety of this child depends upon you. That little eyebrow. Mm -hmm. They were here. Two days ahead. No rest till we find the girl. What's gotten into you, Commander? She really wants to know. It's such uh, a wonderful feeling. What is? Can infect him too. Purpose. Uh, what was the other it? guy? The other guy started attacking him with a sword. That's what he should have been doing. He made his voice deeper. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it could happen. Well, you can make your speaking voice deeper. Yes. The saddest thing I've ever heard. No, I know your father. He didn't think it was sad. No, he spent five years searching the world for it. Mm. I know, because I was with him. Uh, I was his squire. I was his squire. Oh. So, what, are you telling me you know what happened to him? Oh, yeah. He found it. Hmm? He got the one piece. He did. So are you in the story? We found it. We won. More later. <laughs> okay. Hold out your hand. Oh, heckleberry seeds. Plant them. Repeat after me. Tuatha Ulthrokmora Huatha. Tuaka Throkmoda Huatha. Close. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. This is really quite a simple spell compared to what you're going to be doing. Look at these. I, I don't think it's like... <laughs> Look at these ones. Yeah, these are like 20 words long. Hoatha. Tuatha, Othrok Morda, Huatha. No, Hoatha, like you're hoeing the garden. Hoatha. 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 Tuatha, Throck Morda. This would be me. Shoot me in the face. We mean no harm. We've seen her. Willow. He's with them. You probably can't help with him. You wouldn't lie to us, would you? Peck. Ah, Peck. No. Mm. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, Mims. I couldn't handle if Mims died. <laughs> She's pretty good with those. Mm -hmm. I've done it again and again, and guess what? Nothing's happening. Hey, Laura. My name's not Laura. It's not even Dove. That's just what Eric calls me. What's it's your name? Brunhilda. Brunhilda. Really? Yeah. That's a terrible name. What's wrong with Brunhilda? Many a Viking woman. Okay, I'll just um When Willow said I was a Laura Dane and part of me thought Yes This is it The answer to a question I've been asking my whole life Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> Why do you think Kit is so mean to you? She's jealous. Why do you think Jade defends you? She's dedicated, and Borman, Borman sticks around to see what you can do. So, yeah, there's something kind of funny about the fact that you seem to be the one person who can't see how extraordinary you are. <laughs> he, like, realized what he was saying. Oh, no. <laughs> Tuatha, Athrokmora, Huatha. Did it work? She made jam. It's a giant beanstalk. <laughs> <laughs> she just comes with a basket full. Your vision. You saw her fight the crone. Hmm. Oh. In my vision, I wake up on a battlefield. Well, that's a detail you left out. 
no matter what I do. Laura Dannon has to die. Hmm. Do sleep magic. It's useful, <laughs> but only when I sleep. <laughs> Work out it long enough, you can just spray ah! on its own. That's not magic, Rick. To us. Shit. She was screaming in the woods. That's why you shouldn't have been alone. Really easy to find her. He's gonna. There's man. Get the peanut butter because we got some jam coming. Alright, Jameis. That got pretty big. Yeah. There's berries on it already. No, it was shorter, wasn't it? Yep, a lot shorter. Alrighty, that's our first week of Willow. Calvin, you look intense. What are we looking at? It is his daughter. Is it? Yeah. Gotcha. Annabelle Davis. Okay. Nice. Playing uh, Mims. Uh, Mims. Nice. All right. <sighs> I uh, I'm I'm really enjoying the show. I only have one dislike, and it's using a little bit of contemporary music in the soundtrack. I think that it's going to date the show in the future, and that you shouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just because that wasn't the the musical tone style of the uh, of the original. They have it in there. It's just it's also mixing with that. And you to like, me, I just don't think that that's the right decision. But I did think I like the song. I think it fit. You mean like the credits music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But you know, no, to like I love Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Sure. <laughs> the credit set, you know, doesn't really fit for me. <laughs> yeah. Like a Knight's Tale is interesting. In yeah, it, 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 it really is interesting. I, I definitely agree, but I, I do think that it becomes dated more than sure. something like Lord of the Rings does. You know. Hmm. I, don't know. I guess it depends on the song. Yeah. Like I don't know that song. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not like they're using. Sure. I don't know, like a popular today song kind of thing you know, you know what I mean like yeah. sure there's like the idea of it being more modern but like that one there became like just on the radio yeah from like Robin Hood mm -hmm. right the uh what was it Brian Adams song yeah. I think it was so like I do, do it yeah so there's like a difference I feel like there where like like yeah. is it if I, I guess it depends on how popular it becomes it's like oh that's from this time I remember that song yeah. whatever versus like oh I just know it from Willow mm -hmm. so I, I get you I miss it's not. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. It's just to my taste, I, I prefer like when you're creating lead motifs for for different characters and weaving them together and stuff. You know the classic fantasy trope. So it's like I'm, no, I'm not saying it's you must do it that way. It's just like, that's the way I prefer. So maybe no, I'll like it by the end. No words like that kind of thing. Yeah. Instrumentals. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You don't want it to sound like it's coming from a current artist. You want it to be feel timeless. So generally, you do instrumental. Like Lord of the Rings has into the West. It does definitely. But that's yeah a little more more in you. Yeah, <laughs> a little more ethereal yeah. already, right? My only I mean, it's not a big deal. But mm -hmm. Willow was awesome because it was pushing a little person as a star. So yeah. I was kind of hoping that this show would like take a younger little person and push them. Sure, well. right? Yeah. But it seems like it's just Willow and uh, mm -hmm. what's his name? Silas. 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 Yeah. yeah. We got a little bit with Mims, too. A little bit. I was hoping she'd go with them. Me, too. But uh, I did too. like the yeah. scene that they had in the, his, like, apothecary or whatever he has. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no guarantee, like, we don't get any more yeah. of anybody or we got her having to use them more, more after they already left this mm -hmm. episode with talking to. Uh, Valentine. Valentine. Yeah. 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 Valentine. They introduced Willow's apprentice as well. <clears throat> He didn't have much Carthy? to do in this episode. Something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, we got a little bit more uh, uh, backstory, I suppose. Um, flashback material of, you know, Willow not abandoning this child or anything, but not being able to be with him. Being and, frustrated by yeah. not getting a choice. And then in learning in this prophecy, like, there's going to be this idea of, like, maybe he doesn't want her to develop her magic very well, because if she does and she's on the battlefield then maybe that's what puts her there you know it's like choosing your child or the world yeah I didn't think it was interesting like like Willow had the line where it's like she's as much mine as yours like yeah. you know uh, what's her name so Sosha Sorsha Sorsha yeah Sorsha like mm -hmm. 
Like, she's not her mom. No. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, her taking over, like, ownership of the child. Like, Willow found her and kept her safe, yeah. you know, for a long time. Sure. And, but it was, it was like, that well, idea of, like, you gotta be with your own kind, your own people and stuff. Yeah. And despite him feeling that father-ish way about her. But is her own kind human or is her own kind magic? Sure, yeah. Well, she's right. the last Dakini. blood of of her... Chimeria. Like, yeah, of her kingdom or whatever. See, so, the, being a Daikini, she should be with other Daikini people, right? Yeah. That was I'm not thinking. Anyway. I'm not sure what Chimeria is. I assume it's like the... Um, oh, shoot. What's uh, Aragon's people? Like Numenorians? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I assume it's like Maybe. the Roman yeah. Empire. The... Hmm. And then we have uh, the Lick or the Lich, who uh, I guess can infect you zombie wise and get others. It's kind of scary. Which if they're recoverable or if they're just that now? Yeah. I don't like know. if you destroy him, do they change Will- back? Willow yeah. might have a, a spell for that. Yeah. Maybe. And I don't want to. I, I wouldn't go zombie. Like it might just be more mind control. Sure. Rather than yeah. like a zombie. I use zombie thing. just. To make it super simple, but it's obviously going to be a little more complex. Sure, that. like yeah, like no one seems to be dead. Yeah, it just like seems like seemed, kind of inf- it, it seemed like he was like scratching in the dirt and stuff like that, as if he were using that as some kind of remote control. You know? Yeah. We did that in the fire appeared and he talked to yeah something right. I thought it was yeah. like a reading. You know, like I thought he was uh, dialing a rotary telephone, like an actual yeah. magic reading of the bones, yeah. like as opposed to just. Making shit up, <laughs> tricking everybody. I felt like he was doing that the whole time, and then like someone called him on like FaceTime, mm. and he talked to him, and he kept doing that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it seemed like to yeah. me. Yeah, I thought he was doing it to like like that's how he knew like the girl had escaped and stuff. Like he was reading what was going on, kind of thing. But it might not have been. Like I don't scrying. Know. Was Willow looking whenever he did the thing? Like I don't really know what I'm doing. Can you read the bones? You can't read the bones? All right, I'm going to mix them up. Like, is that, was he hoping Alora would, like, read the bones? Is that what he was going for there? Or was it just, because he was, like, I think he was just, like, making it more, like, mystical yeah. and, and Just like impressive. the last tile when, like, you do yeah. you do the thing, and then people are like, what does it mean? And you just tell them what you want them to sure. do. Sure. Yeah. But I thought, like, he was, like, hoping that she knew stuff. Yeah. So I was like, maybe he's, like, hoping she can read the bones, you know? Yeah, or, he kept saying, like, well, we'll see how far along you are. And she's like, I know nothing. He's like, okay, yeah, but you had to know something. He's like, no. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Which is honest, and I enjoyed that. So there's the crone, I'm assuming, is the name of the ancient evil, the his glory, harbinger of the worm, right? Like the 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 lick. The, the crone is usually a female figure. Yeah. But maybe they're the same. Yeah, and the voice I felt like, that I heard felt female too. Yeah. I felt like the withered crone was someone other than the than eternal the, one. The, the eternal, eternal one. one. Okay, I did too. Yeah, I mean it could be like they, you know, last episode had that small line of like about more uh, bad morta, bad morta yeah. is like the blood's still there, you know. And granted, they are, she's their grandchildren are there, yes. But I wonder if there's anything deeper than that. Like, is the blood? Still, the crone. actually on that yeah. that like pedestal yeah. thing that she was making a maybe maybe a potion in maybe there's some connection to her and the crone. Like well, her does, soul um, was sucked somewhere, right? Yeah. Sure, so. it went to some other place where yeah, like was never gonna bother her, right? Yeah, so like maybe that her soul is now the crone mm-hmm. kind of thing. Like corrupted even and more. Will mentioned that as her influence grows, that's why like they went underground and are hiding and stuff yeah. too. That's why the village was destroyed mm-hmm. because the like the the queen and the other king were talking. Yeah, like yeah, the villages over here are getting destroyed and burned, and then they just abandoned. So I suppose that's what's happening to the Melwin settlements as well. Yeah, yeah and his son may have died from an attack so they all went and hit underground too they talk about their woes and the you yeah know, the, the things that they've gone through too and uh, whatnot so yeah there may be some i don't know something something that happened that we haven't seen maybe we'll see a flashback maybe we won't but i assume that his son is passed from the dogs from other things maybe that are out there and around death dogs i don't know yeah like they're not in the barrier so kaya too i assume kaya possibly 
Yeah. I figured we would have seen her. Or she's, she's older and still around. Because I got, I don't know. It, it's hard to tell. Like, the old mayor dude, right? Like, did he just die from the high old one? Bad, no. No, no, no. no the mayor. No. The bald dude. The oh. landowner that wants to take Willow's land. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because he, like, went with him and then he went back to the place, yeah. right? So, like, he would still be back there somewhere, wouldn't he? Well, he wasn't the leader, cut. He wasn't the leader of the village. He was just a rich no, man. No, he was just a rich guy. Burgle yeah. cut, yeah. Burgle cut. That's what I'm Burgle right. cut. Yeah. Yeah, he cut was just like I think it's cut. Okay. For some reason uh, I don't remember. I might have had it wrong, but I think it's B U R G L E K U T T. You are great. But it's back in the movie. But yeah, now he was just he was a more successful uh Nelwyn and one of Willow's farmland. Yeah. He was like a land shark. Yeah. Kind of is what it seemed like. I thought one of the, the older actors here was him. At first I thought, I was like, I, but, and there I'm was still, like a shot of like half. I still might be convinced. Half of the top of a guy's head and he yeah. was bald the exact same way and he looked yeah. older. And I was like, <gasps> yeah, like I, that I, for a second. And then it cut yeah. away. And I was like, oh, that, it's probably not him then. Yeah. Like in the underground audience, it felt like it was him. I don't know. Yeah. So the four pillars of sorcery. Charms, potions, divination, what? War magic? War magic? That, what? No. That's what was the right. fourth one? Um, I don't know. It's which is the third one? Uh, the fourth one was divination. Yeah, but I missed the third. I didn't one. know if anybody got that. But war, it wasn't called war magic. It was it. like something. Sh- I think it was like something shun and then divination, right? Was, well, what are the ones you have? Charms, Can- potions, can- divination, conjuration, concentration. concentration. Yeah. Concentrate. I know I said that like Yoda, but you did. <laughs> yeah, whenever I wrote down, Peter Zell like, says a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> whenever I was writing it down, I'm like, okay, charms, potions. I had divination because that was the last one. I'm like, exactly what, what happened was to me. the third one. I don't <laughs> know what it was because we couldn't concentrate. <laughs> I was concentrating hard. I just forgot. <laughs> we saw well, more of his dream too. Yeah, where yeah, it was um, she's dead, and some kind of fire was like on her cheek, wasn't it? That was interesting. Fire on her cheek. Yeah, yeah there was like, like a, a little, like, there was an ember that was embers, burning. Yeah, or flame oh, or notice. something. Yeah, yeah it was right. really cool. Let's go back again. He back some more. Sorry. Oh no, I see it. Yeah. Like I don't know why it's there or what, but it's, yeah, it's, it's weird. Like it's so bright there and it's slowly fading. So I'm like, yeah. what happened? Like why? She got magic. Like, it looks like she's been laying there for a little bit. You know, like yeah, why sure. is that on her cheek specifically? I'd understand if like her whole body was in flames and it's slowly, but just right there. Well, it seems like there's a whole bunch of like maybe it's like embers falling. and stuff going past her. Yeah. So it's like it fell on her cheek and it's just like cooling. Is that what it is? That, that's what it seemed like to me. Or someone walked up to her and she's been rubbing her feet on the carpet for like thirty minutes. Calvin, like, oh, there's a war. Ah, ah, dead. It could be, ah, no. It could be that. Warwick Davis. <laughs> I his goatee look. I thought it was fun, but his beard look. I want to see more. His beard look is so much Pretty better. Cool. Yes. <laughs> I want to see more. <laughs> I wonder what's gonna happen with this cuirass. Yes. The, the, ch- the Chimerian curus. I don't know what a curus is. Curus. It's, uh, it's a be- breastplate. Breastplate. Okay. Yeah. So it's a Chimerian, and like a, that's the, normally, blood, the blood of Chimeria is what they talk about. Normally, right? it's like a like a breastplate, and then like the little like thigh skirt things, mm-hmm. right? Okay, I it's think like I just understand. the front part of the armor. Like what a conquistador. Well, wear. it goes around the back too. I mean, right? Like you you put it on. Sure, I, I just meant like down here. It's yeah. not like the full like metal skirt or like the picture leg. Time. So, Alora is the last blood of Chimeria, and then that is a Chimerian. Caress. Yeah, I'm saying that correctly. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Curasses. Yeah. Yeah. What conquistadors wear? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> when I, I mean, see that, I immediately <laughs> think of a conquistador with a big feather hat. <laughs> sure. But it's, yeah, they it's seem to, to indicate that. it's like magical or yeah. something in some way. Like it can defend any attack. Man, it found it. Like Is it like. Okay, it's not like the gold armor he was wearing. No. Right that now. was in. The armory, yeah. 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 Okay. Borman was a squire of Mads. He was. And So was that the squire that left with him then yeah. whenever he went beyond? The five years. he came back and he... He came back and... And then they imprisoned him? I mean... Like, why'd he, they imprison him? He's, he's, he's a thief. crimes. Like, Just, he came back. So other crimes, he was also a crimi- yeah. criminal. Yeah, and he was the squire of Mads. Okay. I think he started he's out as a squire... And then he became a criminal. <laughs> and also, the queen might be pissed if, 
like he came back without him, you know? Sure. Too. Well, they said that he owed a debt to, yeah, to him, right? To Matt Martin. So yeah, there's stuff that we don't know, and now it seems like Kit knows, but we didn't hear because she like shook him away. She was like, "Tell me more." And I'm like, "Yes," and they cut away. And we didn't come back. <laughs> nope. So I'm sure we'll learn, but not yet. Now they gotta go rescue Alora. They do. They gotta go rescue Alora, who's been taken. I hope they get brownies to help. I God, hope. Do you think we'll see brownies and stuff? Love that shit. I don't know. Maybe I need you... it to be just as janky <laughs> as it was, or I will not believe it. I, I got would... the baby! I got the baby! I need it to be a four-inch tall figurine taped to a hawk. <laughs> yeah. Carrying a foam bundle of Bring the sticks. same guys. The giant hawk carrying Alora. Sure. That too. <laughs> yeah, <you're> right. <laughs> All right, we had a couple questions here uh, that I wanted to go over. Uh, Chance Yeager says, how do you guys feel... Did you have something? I'm sorry. No, okay. Okay. Uh, Chance Yeager says, how did you guys feel about the more modern style of speech some of the characters use? I don't mind, but I can see how some people might find it distracting or immersion-breaking, particularly when contract contracted... Contrast... Uh, I can't say that. Uh, yes, with the more formal, dramatic speech of others in the same scene. So you have someone like Valentin, who kind of, ha- you know, he, the way that he speaks is a little bit more um, higher fantasy in a way, and then some of the kids sound a little bit more contemporary. It's what kids do. And it is what I kids understand. Do. It's how kids. language works. Yeah. I haven't noticed it. Yeah, I didn't think about it at all. I mean, I noticed it. I noticed it, but it didn't come across as like something that's inappropriate for the story and the setting and the tone. So I noticed it especially with Kit. Yeah. I mean language yeah, we always talk definitely. about language changes and stuff like that too, right? Yeah. So like old people talk one way and then mm-hmm. new generations slowly talk other ways and stuff. And yeah. I didn't think about it at all. Mm-hmm. I just assume goddamn kids. Goddamn kids. <laughs> Is it changing the language again? <laughs> uh, and then MCU Forever says between uh Sorsha and Mad Mardigan's family and then the solos and by extension, the Skywalkers, which Lucasfilm family is more dysfunctional and has more issues? Also, where are Kaya and Rannon? I'm worried for them. I don't know. About I Kyle think they're Rannon. both dead. I think that. I think so too. Yeah, Sometimes I happened. think Kaya and Rannon have, during the attacks, have unfortunately died. Yeah. Have been killed. I, I would probably say that if you're including the Skywalkers and the Solo as one family, that's. It's pretty dysfunctional. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I would go with that. I would, go, I would with that. go with Howard the Duck. You go with Howard the Duck. Wait, easy. You just talked to a different family, and I don't even and know if he has a family. Lucasfilm. Right? <laughs> I don't even know if he has a family. It's just one guy. No, you, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen whatever, that movie. Whatever he came from is fucked up. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Oh man. All right. Uh, those are the questions that we got. Do you guys have anything else for these first two episodes? Did you want to read the newest one, or at least tell them what, it, what the one guy said? The most, oh, re- most recent one was just like, uh, do you guys realize you are only you are only a few cool enough channels? I think he's saying you are one of the only cool enough channels that are reacting to the Willow series. Yeah. So kind of sad how Star Wars shows will get reactions, but poor Willow gets no love. Uh, I love Star Wars, but I have equal love for 80s classics too. Yeah. I was like, oh, cool. I mean, I that, was, that was the case back in the day as well, yeah. right? It didn't really do well. Yeah, it, uh, it had a smaller budget for the movie like that, but I mean, you know, Lord of the Rings changed everything. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. You fantasy, know, fantasy movies didn't do very yes, well. It was know. like westerns and action movies. I mean, Conan did well, yeah. but that was not also, a lot of effects in that movie <laughs> yeah, either. Sure. And no, it's I mean, also fucking <laughs> Conan yeah. the Barbarian is Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I mean, Lucas waited five years to produce this until they could do the digital effects that they did in that movie. You know that that uh, with the brownies and everything. Yeah, they need to talk here about transforming, but the brownies less so. It was really the morphing the technology, morphing, yeah. like that, to the pig and, yeah, and all like, that stuff. They develop morphing technology, and Lucas is like, "Now we can do it." Like he was just waiting. He didn't even know what he was waiting for. He just knew it when he saw it. So sure, you know, he had to wait five years after he first asked uh, Warwick Davis, like, "Hey, do you want to do this script? Do you want to do this movie?" He's like, "Yeah, that sounds great." So, all right, sure. Now we have to wait until we can. I mean, that's and it took five years. What he did with Star Wars, it like, is, they, exactly. they he put a ragtag group together yeah. of just people to to figure out the yeah. model stuff. And uh, I was watching the ILM thing. I don't know if mm-hmm. you've seen that or not, but yeah. it was talking about uh, they they took the cameras that were used from the Ten Commandments movie, mm-hmm. 
yeah. and Frankenstein them together yep. to make a camera to shoot the models in the way they needed to, like on a track close enough to the models to make them look real and mm-hmm. big and stuff. And I was like, I have to thank God for Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny, but I just yeah, it, it's interesting. Watch if you if you if you like the behind the scenes stuff, that was a really cool it's thing great. to watch mm-hmm. through. Like they were talking about the uh, George Lucas comes back from like filming in in the UK or whatever and he gets back and he's like alright you guys have been here for I don't know six months you've spent half of our budget or whatever what do you got to show me and they had like a turbo laser like one turret going like pew 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 like, yeah. that's it it's like well, well we have this escape pod jettisoning out yep. <laughs> like from R2 and yeah. 3PO I was like anything else like no that's it yeah. like that's all you have that's all and you spent half the budget and all this time yeah. he's like what am I going to do but it looks so good <laughs> and then Lucas like a couple like, a, like shortly after that he gets all of his like director buddies together like hey give me some notes here's my current edit the current edit had no special effects mm-hmm. except for that one tr- uh, that, that turret that shooting that one turret shooting <laughs> and, and, and that, that one time <laughs> and everybody watched and everybody's like it's not good it doesn't you know the, the, the dialogue's dumb all this stuff but Steven Spielberg's like, you know, those two shots were amazing. <laughs> he's like, the Raptor movie gonna have that? And George is like, well, yeah, I hope. And he's like, okay, it's gonna be fine then. Yeah. Don't worry. Like, like Steven Spielberg saw that. He's like, oh my fucking god, look he at this is, escape yeah. pod going out into he, space. <laughs> he was the only one that could look between the lines of yeah. what could be there. Yeah. You know, it was, yeah. it was, it's pretty cool. So what I've, I guess the answer to the question though is like, I don't know. We kind of hit that kind of like perfect age and interest in Star Wars and then Lucasfilm, and to the point where I had this incredible nostalgia sure. for Willow. But my fandom's not gigantic for it, but my love is. Sure. You know? Like, if it was just so, me, I might not have you might not wanted have to react this. this. But you guys are like, oh, Willow, man, I had that for my childhood. Yeah. And, and I was like, all right, let's check it out. And I'm, so far, the first two episodes, I think, have been yeah. pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, this one's a little slower, the second episode. Yeah. But, I mean, you can't have just huge fights all the time, right? Like, Lord yeah. of the Rings, people love that. But it's yeah. not giant, awesome fights all the time. Yeah. There's the slower parts, mm-hmm. story, character moments, all that kind yeah. of stuff. And you got to build those up you know. to get more of the, oh, shit, here's the, the lich, or lich, whatever it is, big club hand man yeah. with a cage on his head. The witch know? king. Like all that stuff. So yeah. it, it's cool. I had heard uh, that uh, Juno Satamo has a role in this. I'm going to assume he's the guy in the in the bird cage. He's, yeah. He's the current Chewbacca the, for yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's Nubaka. Yeah, he's yeah. Nubaka. So I'm glad that he's getting something else, but... Like, we need a really big guy. And, of course, I mean, John Kazan's going to be like, I know a dude. That's a big dude, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. Probably. Unless he's something else, but yeah. Yeah. Huh. All right. Well, um, do we need a poll? We need a poll for this episode for Willow. All right. We have a poll over at patreon.com slash spinalwave. We want to know who you think of the new uh, Willow Fellowship. Mm. Of the new characters, who is your favorite? We have Kit, Jade, mm. Case is dead. Cross that one off. Damn it. Oh. Borman, uh, Graydon, and Alora. Mm-hmm. I get that one. We're not counting Willow, though. No. Not counting Willow or Silas. Silas. He's not a new character. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, Alora's not new either, technically. Nope, she was in the last but movie. <laughs> we'll stick her in. <laughs> okay. Sure. She wasn't really a character in the movie. <laughs> I quite enjoy Borman. Borman's great. I do love Borman. I think that he's going to be, you know, like Willow said it. You have light and you have dark. You got sugar. You got spice. <laughs> you know he's a bit spice. He's gonna not be the Mad Mardigan of this party, where he's like, you don't really know if he's good or not, yeah. but he's on your side. I mean, he literally was found in a prison the same yeah. way. Yeah, and all that. So. Not in the Fellowship, but I really like Eric as well. Eric, I yeah. really Eric. like. No, him. yeah, he. Sure. he was I'm sad he's kidnapped. Me too. Yeah, yeah, me too. He <laughs> seemed so good, and like I just I saw like Val Kilmer kind of in like what he was doing, and yeah. I thought it was yeah. great. I will go with. Um, Flash. Graydon? Graydon. I was going to go with Graydon, I was Graydon trying to think too. what his first name was. The, I was going to go Graydon. Well, fuck you. <laughs> My reason for it, though, was that when I saw him, I'm like, why the hell is he going? Yeah. And I, I've liked, I've grown liking him more. Like, Borman, I like just as much now sure. as I liked him when he first started fighting cutting yeah. off things, you know? But I've, I've his has, like, scaled yeah. so much more. That's cool. No, Everyone my, else is kind of on the same level as where they started, I feel like. My... Initial tin foil hat theory ship stuff is that I think that he and Alora will grow closer, and then that leaves Kit and Jade to remain close. I get you there, and I thought that too, but then I'm like, what about Eric? Yeah, she's going to save Eric, isn't? That, shouldn't they get a connection? But I'm like, 
maybe it's doing that because he kind of like has that yeah. uh, playboy sure. style about him, I guess. Yeah. So maybe they're sending it that there's way. There's teenagers. Maybe there's going to be drama, my friend. Or maybe he dies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Are you saying that it's not a successful formula to have a love triangle, Rick? Maybe. This show's definitely not as dark yet. Like no. Willow starts like this person dies, this yep. person dies. Yep. Yeah, sure. This, the mother of the main no dogs. More. The mother of the main character is killed in yeah. the first three yeah. minutes of the movie. So. <laughs> Not for nothing. And it's Bambi in here. <laughs> when we watched the rea- like when we watched it in the reaction a couple weeks ago or whatever, like the pig ste- scene still gets me. Yeah, I'm yeah. still like fuck. Oh, we turn to pigs. <laughs> it's the same thing. I, like when I watched Pinocchio and the donkey thing happens. Yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> What? Why are you I'm laughing? scared. He's right. I'm scared, child. The Why car- are you booing him? He's the, right. The cartoon donkeys. Yeah, dude, it's say yeah. Oh, God, no. I didn't drink for years because of that. Like alcohol? Dude, yep. my sister would That's run out true. of the room screaming when Gumby yeah. walked through a wall. That yeah. doesn't make any sense. It's terrifying to think that something could get into your house when the doors are locked. <laughs> and... He's right. Tons, He's of right. Be- tons of people that aren't made of clay can do that. <laughs> no, they can't. They can't just come through they walls. They can't just come through walls. <laughs> Guys, come back for more Willow next week. Hey, uh, check out that poll at patreon.com slash blindwave. We're going to read some of the responses next time. Uh, jump on if you've never checked out Blindwave. Willow is the first thing you've ever uh, watched from us. Please subscribe. We cover a lot of stuff. Too much. Too much. But we do we it for you. the training. Mm-hmm. And for us. Subscribe.